body workout. So we're going to use a join band today. We'll put that onto the legs. If you don't have one, then just do all the same exercises without it. Then we're going to come lay down onto our back. Have those feet hip distance and just go onto your heels. Just make sure you're nice and comfortable through that back. Then we're going to go exhale, squeeze bottom, press back down, tipping hips. And inhale, gently relax. Exhale, squeeze bottom, press back down. And slowly relax. Exhale, squeeze bottom, press back. And slowly relax. Exhale, squeeze. Gently relax. Exhale, squeeze bottom, press back down. And slowly relax. Exhale, squeeze bottom, press back down. Feel tummy comes in. And slowly relax. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. Pushing the back of those shoulders down into the carriage. Exhale, squeeze, drawing those ribs together at the front. One more. Exhale, squeeze, bottom, press back down. Gently relax. Then we're going to do the pelvic roller. Exhale, squeeze, bottom, hollow, tummy out, rolling up. And inhale, slow and controlled all the way back down. Exhale, rolling up. And inhale, soften through those top vertebrae, nice and slow. Do as much movement as you can all the way through that spine. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, slow and control back down. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, slowly softening through each vertebrae all the way back to neutral. Exhale, rolling up. Try and have those feet flexed. So watch your toes aren't pointed out over the bar. Slowly rolling it back down. Exhale, rolling up. Gently rolling it back down. Keeping a little bit of pressure on that bend. Gently rolling it down. Then we're going to hold it up. We're going to exhale out with the knees a little bit wider than hips. Bring them back in line with hips. Exhale out. T zones on. Gently coming in. Exhale out. Gently back in. Exhale out. Slowly back in. Pushing even through both feet. Feel those glutes are on. Even if you put those hands onto the glutes. Exhale out. Inhale back in. Exhale out. Inhale back in. Last two. Then gently bring it back in, then slowly rolling all the way back down to neutral. Then just hug the legs in towards the chest. Just let those legs be heavy. Have two breaths there. Really letting it lengthen through that spine. One more breath there. Relax those shoulders. Then gently bring those legs back onto the bar. We're just going to sit up and just change those springs. Just change it to a medium and a light. So just one medium, one light spring. Grabbing those straps in the hands. Then just pulling those. Hands a little bit below the shoulders. 
Then once we're there, press the lower back just that millimetre down so you feel that lower tummy come on. So watch you don't tuck under too much. Just a little press down, you feel that lower tummy's on, but your tailbone's down the best you can. Then we're going to gently lift those legs up, all the weights on the hands. Then legs are squeezed together. Exhale, sweep hands to hips. Slow and controlled back. Exhale, sweep hands to hips. Slow and controlled back. Exhale, sweep down. Chest is nice and shoulder blades are together at the back. Ribs are drawn together at the front. Gently coming back up. Keep those ribs together. Exhale, down. Slowly coming back. Exhale, down. Gently coming back. Exhale down, slowly coming back. Exhale down, gently coming back. Exhale down, slowly coming back. Exhale down, last three. Remember if you feel it in that lower back, drop the knees in a bit, press the back down a little more. Keep that tummy on. But as it gets stronger, make sure those, those, that lower tummy gets stronger, make sure those knees are in line with hips. Gently coming back. One more. And slowly coming back, resting those legs back down. Then on the next one, we're going to come back up and then we're going to curl head up for the next set. So if we press that back down gently, weights on the hands, lift those legs up. Squeezing legs together. Exhale, curl chin towards chest, gently curling up. And slow and controlled as we go back. Exhale, curling up. And slow and controlled as we go back. Keep that tummy up. Really draw that tummy down. Slowly coming back. Keep tummy on. Exhale, curl that chin to chest. And gently coming back. Exhale, curling up. Gently coming back. Exhale, curling up. Slowly coming back. Last three. Really draw those ribs together with that breath. Gently coming back, press those feet back down. Then slide knees and feet hip distance. We're going to leave the head down for this set. So have the weight back on the hands. Gently press that back down. Bring knees and feet hip distance. Now we're going to exhale, sweep hands to hips, pushing one leg out. Shoulder blades are tucked together at the back. Ribs are drawn together at the front. Gently coming back in. Exhale, push. Slowly coming in. Exhale, push. Gently coming in. Exhale, push. Gently coming in. Exhale, push. Slowly coming in. Keep that tummy on. Slowly coming in. Gently press that back down. Really feel those abdominals are on. Exhale, push. That back doesn't arch up. Slowly coming back. Exhale down. Gently coming back. Exhale down. Slowly coming back. Exhale down. Gently coming back. Exhale down. Slowly coming back. Exhale down. Gently coming back. If it gets too much, rest down and come back up. Last two each side. Gently coming back, resting those feet all the way back down. Then just put the straps back on the shoulder rest. Then have the, go on the arch 
arches of the feet. Then we're going to do a pelvic, we're just going to do two pelvic roll ups. Exhale, squeeze bottom, hollow tummy up, rolling up. And inhale, slowly rolling it down. Try not to let that carriage move. It's a bit lighter, so you might feel a bit more hamstring. Exhale, rolling up. And gently rolling it back down. Then we're going to do the roll up. Hold it there, gently roll out, slowly rolling in, and gently rolling down. Exhale, rolling up, gently going out, slowly coming in, gently rolling down. Exhale, rolling up, gently going out, slowly coming in. Gently rolling down. Exhale, rolling up. Gently going out. Slowly coming in. Gently rolling down. One more like that. Gently going out. Slowly coming in. Gently rolling down. Go on to heels. Gently rolling up. Gently rolling out, slowly coming in, gently rolling down, exhale rolling up, gently rolling out, slowly coming in, gently rolling down, exhale rolling up, gently going out, slowly coming in, gently rolling down, one more. Gently going out, slowly coming in, gently rolling down. Then we're just going to take that band off. Then just bring those knees up, bring big toes together, knees wide. And just taking those knees out of the way, straighten those arms, exhale, coming back in. Inhale, going out, really stretching through that spine. Inhale, going out. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, going out. Exhale, coming in. Inhale, going out. Exhale, coming in. One more. Holding it in, then slowly draw a circle with those knees. First one way, just that massage on that lower back. Then back the other way, change that direction. And gently bring those legs back down. Then we're going to roll to the side and come up to sitting. And just leave it on a medium and a light spring. We're going to come up standing facing that rail. Just come back so that you bring those heels right back on those shoulder rests if you can. Stretching those arms out long. If you feel like you can't quite reach that bar, you can bring that bar a bit closer. Then sinking down through that chest. So it depends on your reformer. Having two breaths there. Feeling that stretch all down those hamstrings. Then we're going to gently bring that chest forward. Bring the shoulders in line with the wrist. Then we're going to gently roll it out. Gently coming back in. And slowly coming back. So just go with your reformer with that bar where it's comfortable for you. So gently going out, drawing that chest towards the ground and that forehead towards the carriage, feeling it really stretch through the back of those legs. Not locking those knees, a little bend in the knees. Have a breath there. Then slowly come.
coming forward, bring the shoulder in line with the wrist, gently rolling out into that plank, push bottom up, rolling it back in, sink back into the heels. Gently coming forward, line that shoulder and wrist up, gently going out into that plank, tummy comes on. Gently push bottom up, come to the stopper, draw those heels down, draw that forehead towards the ground. Slowly coming forward, rolling out. Tummy's on, gently push bottom up, keeping that lower tummy on, sink down into those heels. Gently coming forward, then you go onto those toes a little, gently rolling out. Feel that tummy zone. Gently push bottom up, slowly coming back. Gently coming forward, slowly rolling it out. Draw those shoulder blades together. Watch for not arched up through the middle of the back. Ribs are drawn together at the front. Push bottom up, gently coming back. Gently coming forward, rolling it out. Feel that tummy thumb. Gently push bottom up, slowly coming back. Then we're going to gently come forward, rolling it out. Then from there, holding it in that plank, bend the knees, roll it in, touch the stopper, exhale, push back out, slowly coming up, sitting back into those heels. Gently going forward, rolling it out. Now we're going to do two. Gently roll it in, slowly pushing it out. Inhale, roll it in, gently pushing it out. Push bottom up, rolling it in, sink back into those heels. Then we're going to do three. Gently coming forward, rolling it out into that plank. Bending knees, rolling it in. Exhale, push out. Inhale in, three this time. Gently push out. Inhale, coming in. Exhale, push out. Slowly coming all the way up, sinking back into those heels. Then we're going to do four. Gently coming forward into that plank. Bend those knees, rolling it in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, coming in. Tummy's on. Exhale, push out. Inhale, coming in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, in. Exhale, push out. Push bottom up. Sinking back into those heels. Then we're going to do five. Slowly coming forward, tummies on. Go into that plank first. Now bend those knees, roll in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, push out. Inhale, roll in. Exhale, push out. One more. Inhale, come in. Exhale, push out, push bottom up, bending at the hips, sinking down into the heels. Having two breaths there. Relax shoulders. Then gently coming back down onto knees. And just coming sitting to the side, both springs off, and bring the leg down and through, and then just have it where you can hook it so that you can lean over to the side without that leg lifting up. So just find where's comfortable for you on your reformer. Slide yourself all the way to the edge of that carriage. Then sit right over onto this bottom. So we're kind of leaning to that side and this bottom's lifted up. Then we're going to go inhale going over to where we can. Exhale, push that top elbow up. Inhale over. Exhale, push up. Inhale over. Exhale, push up. Inhale over. Exhale, push up. Inhale over. Rib tip connection, use this side body. Exhale, push up. Last three. Then 
Then we're going to go over, hold it there, twist to face down, twist to face forward, twist to face down, twist to face forward, twist to face down, tummy's on, twist to face forward, just do the best you can, twist to face down, twist to face forward, if you need to come up and reset, you can, twist down, twist forward, twist down, twist forward, last three, twist down, twist forward, twist down, twist forward, twist down, twist forward, coming all the way up, perfect, and then we're going to swap sides, and turn to face that other way, get that leg into the comfortable spot, slide your bottom to that edge, Then sitting up nice and tall, make sure we're pushed onto that bottom and this bottom's a little lifted. That leg's leaning so you're not going to fall to the side. Inhale, going over. Exhale, push up. Inhale, over. Exhale, push up. Inhale, over. Exhale, push up. Really using that side waist. Inhale, going over. Exhale, push up. Inhale, over. Exhale, push up. Inhale, going over. Exhale, push up. Tummy's on. Keep that rib tip connection, that T zone's on, pelvic floor's on. Last three. One more. Now we're going to do that twist to face down, twist to face forward. So gently going a little bit over. Twist to face down, twist to face forward. 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 Twist down, twist forward. Twist down, twist forward. Twist down, twist forward, last two, twist down, twist forward, twist down, twist forward, coming all the way up, really good. Then gently rolling that carriage back in, add a medium and a light spring back on. Then just bring that rail all the way down, or down far enough that you can use your hands on here. Then we're just going to change it to just one medium spring. Then come onto our hands and knees. If it hurts too much on your wrist, come onto those elbows and do the same thing. So just having those feet back up against those shoulder rest, we're going to go gently lift up those knees. We're just going to do three of those first. So we're going to go exhale, little lift. Use that lower tummy. Exhale, little lift. Gently back down. If you need to slide those knees in a little bit to get them under the hips, you can. Exhale, little lift. Gently back down. Exhale, up. Gently back down. Exhale, up. Gently back down. Now we're going to hold it up and we're going to try and do 10. If you need to rest down, you can. We're going to push out as well. So we're going to lift up, push out. Come back in, push out, gently coming in, exhale, push out, keep that tummy on, gently back in, shoulder blades are drawn together, ribs are drawn together at the front, use that breath, last two, Gently rest down, perfect. Then just slide your feet in between the shoulder rest, bring your knees wide, sit back into the hips. Then gently just coming down to the forward, throwing that chest towards the ground. If you can, just slide that, those knees to the very front of the carriage. Sit back into the hips, then gently coming down. Having three breaths there.
Then gently coming back up. Bring that rail back up. Then we're going to bring both hands to the side, just onto the right. Left, sorry. Then we're going to go down, leading with that chest. Going as far down as you can. Try and keep your bottom on your heels. Push your right bottom down so you really feel a good stretch down that right side of the body. T-zones on. Watch over this left belly go. It's supporting that back. One more breath there in the nose. Out the mouth. Drawing, coming up, rounding up, coming into cat, slowly rolling it in. Swapping sides. Gently leading with that chest, going down. Push that left bottom onto that heel. Onto that left heel. Feel it stretch all along that left side of the body. Ribs are drawn together, T-zones on, pelvic floor's on a little, two breaths there. Relax shoulders away from the ears. Draw tummy up, rounding up, coming into cat, slowly coming all the way up. Now bring hands back a little bit wider than shoulders, gently leaning with that chest going down. Feel it stretches a little more through the shoulders on this one. Have a breath. Rounding up, coming into cat, slowly stacking each vertebra, rolling all the way in. Gently leading with that chest, going down. Tummies on. Have a breath there. Drawing up, rounding up, coming into cat, slowly stacking each vertebra. One more. Gently going down. Rounding up, coming into cat, slowly coming all the way back up. And then we're going to come sitting on, if we stand up on the outside side of the performer. Then just lunge one knee over. And we're going to take that knee a little bit wider than the hip. If it hurts your knee, bring it back into the middle more. Slide that foot forward to where you can. And try and have those hips square facing forward. Then gently coming down. Relax those shoulders. Next in line with the spine. Poke bottom back. Draw that tummy on just a little. That T zone still on. Three breaths there. Really stretching through that glute. One more breath. Then gently coming up, but don't take that leg out yet. Bring the hand over, just rest that elbow. The leg that's back straight, you want to have the elbow on the out to the side with the knee that's forward. And gently going up and over, feeling that stretch all along that side body. Have two breaths there. Then slowly coming back up. Then we're going to swap more. Slide that knee on, slide that leg forward, and gently fold into that. Make sure hips are facing forward, watch you're not twisted. And gently folding forward. Elbows are under shoulders. Chest is open, shoulder blades are together, but then ribs are drawn together at the front. That T-zone's on, poking that bottom back. Feel how that lengthens through that glute. Having two breaths there. Have one more breath there. Then slowly coming up, but don't come out of it yet. Put that hand on the rail or onto the carriage. Sitting up nice and tall. Then gently going over, you can go onto that elbow. Give a bit more of a stretch or stand on hands if you can't get into that deep stretch. Having two breaths there, feel that right along that side body. Hands 
and gently coming back up. Then we're just going to come up kneeling on the carriage. We're still on a medium spring. Bring one leg, have the left leg in line with that shoulder rest, bring that right foot up. Having hands on the rail. Just go slow if you find it challenging on the balance to bring that leg up. Otherwise you could leave that leg down there and just go that way. So whichever one's best for you. Gently rolling it out. Try and keep this knee and hip in line so then we're focusing on straightening this front leg. Feeling that front hamstring. Then just go into that back hip a little as well. Just to where you can. Having two breaths there. And slowly rolling that back knee in. Then gently bringing that leg back, swapping over. Then we're going to gently bring the other leg forward. And gently straightening that front leg. Really stretching along that hamstring. Try and line this knee and hip up. You're on that ball of that front foot. Tummy's on. Then gently rolling that back leg to where you can, coming into that back hip. Try to keep those hips central. Having two breaths there. And gently coming back in. All the way back in. And then just coming sitting in memory. Facing the wing first. We come sitting in mermaid. Put legs right up against. Get as close as you can. Trying to get both bottom down the best you can. Hands on the rail. Just go on a yellow spring or a light spring and just take that medium one off. Sitting up nice and tall. Chest is lifted because then you feel the shoulder blades are together at the back and we're not curved over. Then gently going over. Relax that underneath shoulder. Gently coming back up. Exhale over. And slowly coming up. Gently going over. And gently coming back up. Then we're going to swap sides. Sitting into those hips, sitting up nice and tall. Might feel a bit different on each side. Then gently going over. And slowly coming back up. Relax shoulders, chest is lifted but not hanging down. Spine's nice and long. Sitting up out of those sit bones. Exhale over. T zone still on. Pelvic floor's on gently. Slowly coming up, two more. Exhale over. Gently coming up, one more. And gently coming up. And then you're all done, thank you, well done. That's a good full body workout. Have a good day.